If you've worked with fractions before, then you may well have come across that when you're dividing fractions such as this one, then we often do a shortcut instead, where instead of trying to divide, we switch it to a multiplication. And sometimes people will say that you keep the first one, you change the second sign from divide to times, and that you flip the fraction over, just like that. After you've done that, you then just multiply the numerators and denominators, and for this one you get 15 over 7. Um, but you may well have been wondering why that works. One way that we could write this, and obviously we don't normally do this, but there are times when it helps. So 3 over 7 divided by 1 fifth is equivalent to writing it in a sort of a super fraction like this one, 3 sevenths divided by 1 fifth. Um, I'm going to do something uh, sort of a little bit tricky, or it's not cheating, all I'm doing is multiplying by 1. But I'm doing that in a bit of a weird way. Instead of just multiplying by 1, I'm going to write my 1 as 5 over 1 divided by 5 over 1. So I'm dividing something by itself, so that's definitely 1. And multiplying by 1 doesn't actually change what we're doing. If you pick any number you like and multiply it by 1, you've still got the same answer. Doing that top fraction, 3 sevenths over 1 fifth multiplied by 5 over 1 divided by 5 over 1 gives this ultra big fraction, but a lot of this will simplify. I'm going to leave the numerator alone for the moment. The bottom part, 1 over 5 times 5 over 1, well, when we're multiplying fractions, you multiply the numerators and you multiply the denominators. I'll just tidy that up a bit, and you get so multiplying those together well that's 5 over 5 but 5 over 5 is just 1 and we already talked about that if you're dividing by 1 that doesn't actually do anything dividing by 1 doesn't achieve anything so 3 over 7 divided by 1 over 5 is equivalent to 3 over 7 multiplied by 5 over 1 so the keeping the first fraction alone changing the sign to multiply and flipping the second fraction over is a shortcut for a longer method that is mathematically accurate but I think we'll stick to the shortcut.